Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Got a little haul here today. Um, some of it is from my own collection. Some of it is from the SPC store that I get with my wooden nickel, which has now moved to Melbourne and a few other places. I hope you enjoy. Oh, and I just wanted to say thank you to Kevin from Commonwealth Pickers. Great idea. Thank you. He's got his name right here on uh, the mug. Great YouTube channel. I am sure that you all watch it. And this is what it says on the other side. So thanks, Kevin. Goodwill on Monday. Goodwill is Senior Citizens Day. They didn't really have a lot there, but I did spy this incredible bowl set. I got all nine pieces for, I think it was just a little under $10. It is black glass made by Art Paul. It is in the cocolage black pattern, shell shaped, and all in lovely, lovely condition. I have six Six of these bread plates, or eight inch plates, I'm not sure they're blood, probably salad plates. I have a 10 inch bowl, also in perfect condition. It's black glass, by the way. And let's see, I have one dessert bowl and one sauce bowl. The dessert bowl right here and the berry bowl right here. Really, really great find. It also came in white and it came in a frosted color. I'm not quite sure when it was made. I know they don't make it anymore. Art de Paul is a division of Cristal de Arc, uh, the Durant group. It was made in France. And these plates alone, I think I can get $50 for a set of six. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be selling the bowl and the other pieces for. Great find though. As I said in my opening, the SPC store, my wooden nickel store that was in Merritt Island has now moved to Melbourne, which is a lot more convenient for me. So I took a trip over and I found a few things here. I found these really cool shot glasses. I pay 25 cents each for a pretty color, uh, pink color on the inside. I originally thought maybe they'd go with my Libby Concord set. I have them in turquoise, not in pink. And I thought, well, maybe they could be also the Fenton coin dot, they're neither but at 75 cents was a really great find. I think I'm gonna ask about $4 for the three of them. Took myself over to one of the local antique consignment thrift malls around here. I really wanted to buy some really good, pretty stuff and see what I could find on sale. Some of the stuff I got wasn't on sale, but these were on sale. They were in a moving booth sale, and I believe it was 75% off everything. So I grabbed these two gorgeous creamers. They are Homer Laughlin in the Harlequin pattern. And Harlequin was introduced um, kind of as a less expensive alternative to Fiesta Weir. And I have this one here. The color is called Harlequin Yellow. Dates to 1938-1964. And the Spiru screen, which is 1945 to 1952. They're not marked on the bottom, although this one has a WF on it, which I believe stands for Woolworth, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I know that they're the original ones because the original ones were not marked at all. So you can see right here that they're not. They did make newer ones, 1979 to 1985, but that's neither here nor there at the moment. Uh, they were originally designed by Frederick Reed in 1936, and the first colors introduced were the yellow, a red, the spruce green, and they were sold exclusively through Woolworths until 1964. This creamer shape here was changed three times during, uh, during the line's introduction, the first being 1936, then it was redesigned again in 1937, and this was the last redesign, 1937 to 1964. They did issue a 1979 release, and I believe that went to my possibly 1982. Woolworths released it for their 100th anniversary, and they only reissued plates, cups, and soup bowls, so I know that these uh, weren't part of that reissue. I'm going to keep one and sell the other, I think.
as I said before, the SPC store, the Wood and Nickel store, which I've always called it, which was in Merritt Island, has moved down to Melbourne. So I took a ride over there the other day and picked up these two gorgeous pieces right here. It, they're Fire King in the peach luster wear, 1950s. The pattern is Lotus Blossom. And I have an eight inch plate here, which is smooth on this side and kind of has a mixed pebbly and smooth textured pattern on the back end. And this piece right here, which I thought might have been a, a plate for a cup or a saucer for a cup and saucer, but it's actually an under plate, um, came with a little bowl. And you can see right here, it's kind of got the pebble and smooth pattern on the front and smooth on the back. This piece is not marked. Uh, $5 for both pieces. Oh, they also came in jadeite, which is highly collectible. Pastel colors, which are just beautiful. And I've actually seen them in the forest green also. Pay $5 for the two pieces. I'm going to ask $15 and sell them off as a set. The June Park Thrift Store always has a huge bin of lids and they're priced 50 cents for the small, 75 cents for the large and, or medium and a dollar for the large. I saw this fin handle, um, 10 and a quarter inch lid there. So I grabbed it, scooped it up, took it home. I did a little research on it. I really couldn't find anything. It's got really nice embossed leaves on here. Nobody seemed to know what it was. A lot of people think it's Pyrex. I kind of think it's Pyrex too, because this is exactly what the Pyrex handle looks like. Although it's marked H71G, I think. Um, I found two other listings for them. They're asking $10. That's what I'm going to ask for this one. The Finlids Pyrex made them only 1958 to 1961. So I'm going to put that right about in the, that era. I guess I will because that's what it has. Gorgeous fin lid right there. I think it might go with a 10 inch skillet. I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully somebody out there will be looking for it. Pick this up for $5 at the um, SBCA store. You wouldn't normally pay $5 for it, but it's in such great condition. And I never really run into this pattern in the pink. I run into it in other colors in the carnival glass, but I don't think I've had a pink piece. The you know, lid fits right on there. It's in great condition. It's Windsor Pink by Federal Glass Company, 1974. Possibly also Indiana uh, made this. They bought the pattern in the 80s but I have read conflicting reports on whether or not Federal Glass in 74 actually made the pink. Uh, some, some articles I've written said they did. Some said that only the pink was made uh, along with the Carnival Glass by Indiana. Either way, it's a beautiful button and cane pattern. Oh, I did want to tell you that Jeanette Company also made a Windsor pattern. Looks nothing like this. Anyways, I paid $5 for it. It is a seven and uh, three quarters inch covered bowl and I think I'm going to list it for $15. These four pieces actually came out of my cabinet. I don't use them so it would, it's time to sell them. They are all from the same era, mid 60s to the mid 70s. I have one orange Fire King soup bowl, handled soup bowl, and one glass bake handled soup bowl. The glass bake one is in okay condition. There's little rust spots here and there. I think I can clean them up. The, they also, well, they don't stack, but they're both stacking. The Fire King's in wonderful shape. I have right here, the Fire King cereal, or cereal bowl in a nice orange color and a federal glass yellow cereal bowl. I thought maybe somebody who collects milk glass just might like to have some colorful pieces. I'll be asking $15, I believe, for all uh, four pieces right here. Pick this up at the Antique Mall. I just couldn't resist it. I love Universal Potteries. This pattern is called Calico Fruit. Dates to the 1940s. It's in really nice condition. It goes from the oven to the table to the fridge. It's actually called a refrigerator dish. Great pattern, great, no cracks, no anything. It's 
really in lovely condition. And I paid $9.95 for it, which seems like a lot, but it's just too good to pass up. They do sell for about $25. And when I got home, I remembered that I also had this one. It's Kitchen Bouquet, same years, 1940s. Different pattern, but very compatible. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to sell that one for 25, sell them off as a set or just keep it. If anybody is interested in them, let me know and it might get me a little motivated. The company was formed by a group of Cambridge, Ohio businessmen and Universal sold many of their wares to grocery stores, movie theaters, and service stations that uh, gave them away as premium giveaways. The most popular patterns that they made were cattail and ballerina. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment. And I did want to say that the shirt I'm wearing here, I picked up for $1.25 at the thrift store the other day. And my next video, I spent so much money at that um, antique consignment store. I have such beautiful things to show you. And I'll probably have enough for hopefully three videos. But I'm going to get working on that right after this. So again, thank you. We'll see you again real soon. Bye. These four people. <laughs>